Pentax is trending again in the camera community with an announcement of the new camera. But this time, it's not one, not two, but rather an entire range of new film cameras. Yep, you heard it right, film cameras. Can Pentax pull this off and mark the place back at the top of other manufacturers? First of all, a film camera doesn't mean Instax or Polaroid. It's a 35mm film and 120 medium format or roll film. Recently, there is an interesting usage of film in photography undoubtedly. During and after the pandemic, this rise is more noticeable. With these new demands, the price of film and cameras have also peaked at an all-time high. The old cameras from the 80s or 90s are now more expensive than some full-frame mirrorless or DSLRs too. Even a 5-pack of Kodak Portra 400 which used to cost $45 is now going for $80 plus. So there's definitely a market to cater to. But this old technology was made by technicians who are getting old too. To hand over the expertise to a newer generation, Pentax has taken an initiative. In a press release, Ricoh announced that they are researching the development of new Pentax film camera products. For this huge development, they are bringing together both veteran and younger engineers to work on the project. These cameras will also incorporate the latest technologies in older film technologies scaling up. This project can be challenging because of the ongoing parts shortage globally. For this, Rico is involving other big manufacturers in this project. But why now after all these years? According to Rico, the film is growing in popularity, especially because the younger generations are loving this technology. They conducted a survey of 300 photographers in Japan and found that around 30% of them own and use film cameras regularly. Yet, there are only a few manufacturers that still make film cameras and can provide services for older cameras. This is the main reason Ricoh aka Pentax is starting this whole mission and the president and CEO of Ricoh Imaging Company said, in January 2022, we declared the rebirth of Ricoh Imaging. We affirmed that starting with Japan, we would more carefully listen to the voices of our users and have taken on exciting new challenges, some of which push beyond the boundaries of conventional wisdom. So it's clear that Pentax realizes the demand of the users and sees the opportunity to grow. Their last release product Pentax KF was a huge disappointment. Pentax fans will usually point to the slower upgrade cycle as evidence of their superiority. But honestly, it just means you're using the old tech for longer. So, will film cameras make a comeback as Pentax and other photojournalists are assuming? Film cameras made photography popular for mass people from amateur photography to professional shoots up until the 2000s it was everywhere. People used to love taking photos and films provided texture and character to the photography. Digital photography has reached such a level that it overtook the whole photography scenario. Nowadays, it's rare to find photographers that still use films, but if technology has excelled so much in digital photography, why would anyone bother to take photos with films, right? Well, there are a few reasons. Firstly, the film does not split up into millions of tiny squares like digital cameras, so naturally, the light and color blend better. The film also controls highlights well and has an aesthetically pleasing grain. In digital cameras, grain is the worst thing you have to deal with. All in all, photos from the film cameras just look right. Digital processing can emulate the look to some extent with post-processing, but the organic feel is definitely missing. It's the same as listening to final albums, wearing analog watches, or reading physical books. The authenticity they serve, you just can't find it in the digital forms. There may be no effort or cost advantage in any of it, but that means little to those who do things this way. And the number of these enthusiastic people is increasing rapidly. That's why other companies are also investing in this film technology. Recently, Kodak announced on Twitter that they've hired more than 300 people over 18 months just to handle the demand for 35mm films. It's a good sign for the film cameras as a whole. You can find some good films that are still available at the market, Kodak Portra 435mm, Fuji FP100C, and Ilford HP5 435mm to name a few. The problem with resurrecting an industry is that all the departments are interconnected. You just cannot develop a system with a bunch of people, you'll need a running factory, professional tools, a strong supply chain, and so on. If Pentax and others can figure that out, we really think the film camera can rule the photography ecosystem yet again. So, 
Did you ever use a film camera? Share your experience with us in the comment section down below.